it's me Alyssa welcome back to my channel today I have my boxy charm for March 2019 I'm so excited to share with you guys my boxy charm for this month this was actually like a really very good month and a very cool month um my box got shipped out late this month with a lot of other people's and um I didn't that was the only thing that happened this month. I know some people have been receiving some complications this month with receiving boxes. Um, they did have some kind of shipment delay. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but I did get mine. I still got my March one. And the March box also sold out this month, which was crazy. So, <laughs> um, they were also doing a FOMO box for March as well that I saw on their website. So, um, you know, these boxes are getting popular and there's becoming good things in this, in this box. And I was really excited for this month because this month had really good products and I was very excited for it. So I'm very excited to share with you guys. I even dressed up for this box themed. Um, so this is it right here, the boxy charm. So I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. I'm so excited, guys. You have no idea. Okay. So let me get the card. I put I shoved the card. I put the card at the bottom so I didn't ruin it. Okay, so this month's uh, little box themed was La Vie and Rose. And this card is so cute. And what it's actually translate to is, you know, it's French. It translates to life in pink. And I thought this was literally the cutest thing ever. And this is like probably one of my favorite cards. I'm actually going to frame this. This is going to be very cute artwork. This is like so cute. Look how adorable that is. With the roses and the macarons. And the little petals. This is super cute. Whoever designs these cards is literally amazing. Um, so as always, I do go back. I do the products are on the back with the information and the pricing. And so I always go in order of that. Just so it's easier for me to list in the description box for you guys and stuff. Let me see. I can put this right in front of me, I think. Oh, that would be cool. Okay. So, oh, and also, do you like my new setup, um, guys? Um, I went back to it. If you remember from way back when I used to film videos, I used to film in front of like this. This used to be like my very old backup, you know, room setup type of background that I liked filming my videos in. Um, so yeah, I'm back to this. So, plus I think there's a lot more light coming from over here. So hopefully this, this works out a little bit better. And if my hair would cooperate with me today, that would be very nice. Okay, so the first product is something I was really excited for, and it is from Cover FX. And this is literally so cute. Here's what it looks like. So this is the Cover FX Perfection Face Palette. I'm reading the card. I have the card right in front of me, so I didn't have to hold it. Um, and this is retailing for $45, this little palette. And this is so cool, because look at this palette. Oh my goodness. That is literally so cool. So you get a highlighter. You get a highlighter, a blush, finishing powder, a brightener, another highlighter right here, and a contour right here. So, these are all really, really, really nice. And they're actual colors that I'm gonna use. So I'm really excited for this palette because it just has such beautiful colors. And this is like a palette that I would definitely pick up on the go and use a lot. It definitely has colors in here. That I would use it's very much like a pinky and it looks like there's some like rose gold tone type of things in here um, let's see if I could swatch two of the highlighters well, those are pretty so yes there's definitely a rose gold tone one and more of like a goldish champagne -y color and then here is the blush and contour and this is the 
brightener right here. The setting, the finishing powder blends into my skin, so I can't really swatch it for you guys because it literally just like blends into me. Um, but this palette is like really cool, and everything is so very soft and like buttery like. Um, so this is gonna be fun. Plus, it tells you on the back what the names are of the shades of the colors. So that's really cool. I'm really excited for this, guys. Like, you have no idea. So that Cover FX palette was really beautiful. I am definitely going to be using this in the future. And so I can't wait to share with you guys. And, like, my future videos. Because I'm definitely, it's definitely going to be something I very much use. And the packaging is so super it's like this vanilla looking packaging. Super cute. The next product is actually from Wonder Beauty. So another product from Wonder Beauty that I have gotten in my boxy charm. I've already gotten their mascara and their under eye baggage little um, patches. And now a face mask. This is amazing. So this is the Wonder Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. And this is $34. Isn't this packaging like super cool? I'm sorry about the lighting. It literally is like this pinky, rosy, mauve tone packaging with a gold cap. Super cute. I'm not even sure what this looks like. Maybe I could try to see. Um, but it says that it contains Skin Loving, Asahi, Goji Berry, Blueberry, Lychee, Mango Stain, and Green Tea Leaf Extracts. Um, the Wonder Beauty um, Mask instantly purifies and replenishes dull skin. Excess oil and impurities are drawn out and absorbed by Kale. Kali Clay? I hope that's how you say it. Minimizing the appearance of enlarged pores, this rose gold skin saving peel off mask quickly and peels off effortlessly, revealing a smoother, clearer, and brighter complexion. That's amazing. So, it is rose gold. Oh, it's like a pinky rose gold. That is so cool. I can't wait. I can't wait to use this. This is going to be so amazing. So excited. And I love skincare. Okay. The next thing in here is from Moda, which I have not used Moda brushes before, but I've heard about them. Um, these are the Moda brushes, um, the powder and soft glow kit. Um, so these are a two piece little kit. Um, to, that are the ultimate diamantic duo. The two brushes were designed to give you your desired look. The elegant rose gold taper handles and two-toned synthetic brush hair make this brush set the perfect addition to your brush collection. So here's what that looks like in this very nice packaging. So you get a powder brush which is you can pat translucent powder onto the to the face to create a flawless finish, and then there is a soft glow which sweeps a luminous glow to the high planes of the face using a highlighter for a lit from within look. So this is really cool. So you get a powder brush, then a little plastic bag of these little brushes. Oh, they're so, so super soft. <gasps> Might be my new favorite powder brush. Super soft. So they're very kind of rose gold, pinky tone. So here's the powder brush right here. Very soft. Very soft. Love that. So very soft for that. And then the highlighter brush is kind of like a very big, fluffy, kind of tapered, fluffy-like brush which again is also very soft and they're so pretty and pink so love those and did I say how much those were those are $29.99 these brushes 
So can never go wrong with having enough brushes in your life. The next thing is from Ofra, which I'm excited for because I think this is like one of the actual Ofra products I actually like. Um, in my Ipsy bag recently for, I believe it was this month, I got a Ofra highlighter in Star Island. And I really like that product. That's like one of the first products I ever truly liked from Ofra that I was sent. Um, that I got in like a subscription and stuff. Because most of my Ofra products I've gotten in subscriptions. And a lot of them have been like kind of very like brownish tone eyeshadows or blushes and stuff. And I just didn't keep any of those. But this little guy right here, or this little girly. Okay, so I had one of these in a past BoxyCharm. These little, um long-lasting liquid lip lipsticks um and this is in the sh this is in the shade monaco the other one that i had i believe was in miami fever okay so the one that i got in my past boxy charm was definitely in miami fever which i wasn't really crazy about because it was like more of like on this orangey tone side this one is in the shade monaco which is more of a pinky rose metallic and these retail for $20. So. Yes, that is definitely my shade right there. Woo! That's what it looks like. And this is in the shade of Monaco. This is definitely my shade. It is definitely this pinky rose metallic shade. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear this lip color. Then the last thing is from Appeal Cosm is it from Appeal Cosmetics? It's their liquid eyeshadow. Retails for $21. And this is in the shade. Does it have a shade name? It just says gold. So I'm assuming there are other colors of this. Um Oh, look at that. It's a little brush. It has a little... Wow, this is a very interesting smell. What the heck is that? This is like my first time opening this. You know what it smells like? It's like brushing it. Brushing goes on. It smells like something from my childhood that I played with. Like, some type of, like glitter glue smell or paint that I had as a child. If, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be associating a, for a, eyesh a liquid eyeshadow with that. It's um kind of nice. It's a nice goldy looking shadow. Um, this is what it looks like right here. It's a very funky smell. Um, or it smells like something of like some type of like glue maybe. I don't know if I even want to put that on my eyeballs. Yeah. <coughs> that, that is like not okay. That is like, that smells really bad. I don't even know if that's safe to put on your eyelids with that type of smell it has. Oh my, no, I will not put, I will not be using this and not putting that on my eyes because that smell. Oh my gosh, how? Yeah, no. And I think you need to let this dry a little bit because it's not like a thick kind of liquid eyeshadow. It's more of like this liquidy almost looking type of thing. And I think it takes a while for it to dry down. And then yeah, I think you would have to layer it. It looks like a type of liquid eyeshadow that you got to layer. Um, That's $21. Wow. That little thing. Okay, I don't think I will, I don't think I will be reaching for this, no. Okay, I've liked everything in this little box except for this little product right here, this Appeal Liquid Eyeshadow that is not staying with me. But overall, this box was so good, I cannot wait to use everything. So I'm going to insert the price of my full box for this month right here. So I'm so super excited. That was like really great. I love this box. How amazing. 
Um, plus, we all want to be living life in pink. I hope most of us would like to be living life in pink. But if not, then you're missing out on all the fun of the pink life because I love pink. It's my signature color, so I'm very excited. This was a very good box. I'm very excited and very happy with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated and helps me out a lot. And until next time, have a beautiful and magical day. And I will see you all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.